So I created this board game that consists of different challenges for people to play in my co-op world. There are challenges that consist of soloing bosses, and each other is playing it very safely. Aim duels where whoever shoots a balloon first wins. Oh, oh, you both missed! 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 And more. In order to determine how many moves you can make in one turn, you basically stand still with Yelan and roll a die once. And whichever number they land on will decide how many steps they move that turn. I chose a few Yelan mains for my Twitch streams to try the game out. And whoever reached the finish line first wins a game, and also a welcome for being a test subject. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. And if you would like to be in a future video, make sure to tune into my Twitch streams. So, for example, this board game, right? Um, it's basically a party game, I would say. First one to reach the end wins. And how we determining who's gonna move or not, it's determined by Yalan's idle animation. So, for example, you can see I here rolled four. That is a third player. This is an example, by the way. I will move four steps. And now they have to solo Pyro Cube. If you fail to solo the Pyro Cube, then you'll be basically going back one slot. So if you fail to complete the objective, then you have to go back one space. So now you have to go kill 10 slimes within one minute. It's pretty easy, right? I'll be timing you. There's a timer over here as well. Did I hide the timer? Okay, I accidentally hide the timer, but yeah. The timer is down there next to me. That's basically the rules. If you fail to even complete this objective, then you'll be forced to do a 1v1 duel. Which 1v1 duel is actually pretty good. Maybe you want to draw to do a 1v1 duel. When somebody lands on a 1v1 duel, I'll explain what that is as well. Imagine Voti only gets 5. No, I'm not going to play myself. Because I'm not participating in this. I'm the host of this. Only 2P, 3P, 4P is going to compete in this. Not me. And I'll explain what some of these things are, like spin the wheel. I hope somebody lands on the spin the wheel, because I want to spin I want to spin the wheel. Now, if you guys are ready, whoever does a dice animation first will get to go first. And you guys, like, there's different rounds as well. So the first round, everyone will roll a dice as well. And then I'll... See who gets to which square, and then we'll go from there. Okay, as first, four. Okay, Cyber Mermaid is rolling. Five, okay. Cyber Mermaid got five. Okay, there we go. Two, okay. So, I'll do Cyber Mermaid first, and Cyber Mermaid is the second player. Does anyone remember what Cyber Mermaid rolled, by the way? Five, right? I have bad memory. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, back to start. He didn't get anything. We'll get anywhere. Uh, there are players I right? So one, two, three, four. Okay, now we have to solo the pyro cube. You can't heal in the pyro cube, and there's no time limit. But you just have to solo it. But um, if you die, you'll go back one square. Uh, four P is traveler, right? Traveler, you roll two. One v one duel. Okay. Just a reminder that no heals, no heals to make it more challenging. No food as well. One try. But even if you fail, you just go back one square. So it's not the end of the world. Pretty easy boss. So no challenges there. Congrats. I have successfully beat the Pyro Cube. So they'll just stay here. Now, Traveler, you rolled 1v1 duel. So the duel is you can challenge whoever you want and replace and switch spots with them if you beat them. Do you want to challenge them? And the duel is... Whoever can shoot the ball first wins. What ball? Okay, I'll show you the ball. This is the ball you have to shoot. The balloon. Whoever shoots this first wins. But I'll stand in a place where it's further away. You guys should stand in the middle over here. And it's only best of one. Whoever shoots it first wins. Okay? So let me know when you guys are ready. I think I'll start off easy. I'll just be over here. Pretty good. Oh, this is basically aim challenge. And who do you, and do you want to challenge Aya, right? Yeah, there's only one person you can challenge. No, Cyber Mermaid, you're not uh, in there. You're not in there because uh, you, you're not the one that rolled the 1v1 duel. But if you roll the 1v1 duel, you, you get to do it. Only uh, Aya and Traveler will fight. Sorry if it's a bit confusing. Okay, ready? Who's at the left, by the way? I don't know who's at the left, but I'll just come to whoever that shoots it. Okay. Okay, who's at the right? I think the right person shot it first. Because Aya, you won a duel, so you retain your position. And Traveler, you still stay where you are because nothing happens if you fail the challenge. Now for round two. Okay, Cyber Mermaid can come in the middle now. And then you guys get to roll a dice again for round two, basically. So this is basically a challenge. There'll be maybe more surprise towards the end since uh, it gets a little bit harder, I would say. Unless you get very lucky and just get to, get to the win. 
Okay, Cyber May, you got the wrong idol animation. That gets it already. See? Six? Wow. Okay. I don't know what six will lead to, but you're getting closer and closer. Okay, did you know if you have other players near a cooking campfire and using the heat as an attack? Yes, no die, right? <laughs> That's really funny. Alright, Cyber Mermaid. Three? Wait, you rolled a five? Wait. I think you were looking at chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so TM Traveler you rolled um five, right? Apparently. Uh who else rolled? Cyber Mermaid you rolled three and I rolled six, okay. Okay, I don't know where six takes us. One, two, three, four, five, six. You lost two turns, okay. So you'll be sitting out this turn and the next turn. So you won't be able to move in like two turns. That's the hard part. Uh, Cyber Mermaid. Okay, Trevor roll five, right? Trevor, your four player. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you lost a turn. So one turn only. You just can't do anything this turn. Cyber Mermaid roll three. One, two, three. Okay. Kills 10 slimes within one minute. So you're the only one that's gonna move this turn. But if you lose, you'll be able to, you'll go back one space. I don't know if you want to go back one space. Maybe that's a strategic move as well. We'll see. I'll start a timer when you're ready and then I'll teleport with you. You can teleport anywhere you want, but you have to kill 10 slimes within one minute. If you fail to do that, you'll go back one space. How many slimes are here, by the way? Does anyone remember how many slimes are here? Like five or something? I'm assuming. Okay, so you got... Is there five slimes here, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> okay, you can teleport anywhere you want still. But you still need like around maybe five slimes. You have 20 seconds left. Over here? There's no slimes here. And it's a drawing. Tactical throw. Oh, okay. These are hydro slimes, right? Aren't these hydro slimes? Okay. Oh, there's a dental slime. You killed one, but I think you only killed like six or seven, so... I think you failed, Cyber. But maybe you're doing that on purpose since you might be strateg strategically thinking about yourself. But since you failed now, you'll be able to 1v1 duel someone. Who do you want to duel? Fourth player or third player? If you win the duel, you get to switch spots with him. Fourth? Okay. So you want to duel with TM Traveler, then. okay. Alright, the duel will be the same, because I don't have any other idea for it. <laughs> there. Oh. oh, you both missed! 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 Oh! Okay, that was the right one, I believe. Right one got it. Who's the right one? Traveler? Okay. So, Traveler won still, so you don't get to move up. Several made three, okay. I will get to set this one out because um, they got the lose two turns. Okay, three. So both of you guys got three, okay. So, um, Cyber Mermaid rolled three and Traveler rolled three. This is Traveler, right? One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> You're losing two turns as well. So, you lost this turn and another one as well. One, two, three. Oh, back to start again. Nobody got any, like, things that you have to play a mini game in, so I guess. New round. <laughs> Yes, Cyber is just living in like the, the spawn. Okay, so Cyber Mermaid, you get to roll again, and also I get to roll. Trevor, you have to sit out of this because um you unfortunately didn't get it. But yeah, if I rolls one, two, three, four, then I wins. But above, I didn't really account for that, so maybe above equals you win as well. Okay, so Cyber Mermaid. And I, you guys will be rolling the dice. Probably just sit tight, I guess. Okay, Cyber Mermaid is up. Five. Okay, pretty hefty roll. Three. Okay. The game is keeping us suspenseful, I think. So what did um Cyber roll again? Five, I believe. Wait, did Cyber roll five? One, two, three, four. Rip. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty bad. I think I did it on purpose while I'm accounting for this, so... You're going... Three spaces, right? Now you have to go back three spaces, so you lost this turn and next turn again. Oops. Okay, Cyber, you roll six. Okay! Finally, somebody rolled six. Traveler? I thought I meant the next turn and the turn after. Yes, it is! No, no, it's the current turn and then the next turn. Okay, Traveler got one and Cyber Mermaid got six for my screen. 
So nobody wins yet. But Cyber Memory is 2P, right? So you got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Aim 2500 point challenge. You gotta um join my teapot. Um Trevor, you get to solo Crabble, so yeah. Okay, so you need to get 2,500 points for this challenge. Cyber Mermaid, if you lose this challenge, no pressure by the way. If you lose this challenge, then you'll be going back a square and then you'll have to go back to start again. So you don't want to lose this challenge. <laughs> but yeah, can you press start game by the way? Or am I the only one I can press it? But yeah, there's a timer here. It's automatic. Start whenever you want. Okay, you can start now. You gotta get 2,500 points. I personally got like 3,960 points, so... Okay, you got one minute left. You need 1,100. Oh, nice. Maybe 2,000 points is too hard. <laughs> Still need 1,000 points. Hmm, maybe 2,000 points is enough. But yeah, just so you know, the board game, it's in the first edition. So maybe 2,000 points is too hard. I guess I'll make it easier next time. But this time, let's see what happens. Since you fail a challenge, you get to go back to the start. You have to go back one square if you fail the challenge. But since this square says back to start, you're going back to the start again, unfortunately. So since Trevor landed on Solo Crabbo, um, Trevor will have to play this, basically. Out. And if you fail to kill the Crabbo without healing, by the way, then you'll be moving back one spot. And if you move back one spot, then you basically have to lose two turns again. You don't know if you fought it yet? Okay, good luck. Well, I'll just give you a hint. Destroy the shield by aiming at the shield. Let me change the board real quick since they rejoined co-op and I have to rechange it. So I is number four player now, so I'm gonna move him to three. Cyber Mermaid is at spawn. So <laughs> Cyber Mermaid is 3P now and Traveler is 2P, so I think this is the correct order now. Crab boss is pretty easy to dodge. Attacks are pretty um calculated as well. I think Traveler is playing it very safely, so I respect it. Okay. Shield got destroyed. This is when we need to do big damage, right? But it's also co-op difficulty as well, so when you encounter like encounter Latin, then it might be a little bit difficult. I never seen a crab dig underground before. Oh. That's when they regenerate shield! I think this is the first time Traveler is fighting the boss as well, so. They might not know the like, exact patterns as well, but if you if you can successfully destroy the crab shield, then I'm pretty sure you'll be able to beat it. Okay. Nice. Good kill, good kill. I right, know that's all gather here. Oh, <laughs> easy learning materials. Maybe I need it as well, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, I only got two. Okay, karma. Okay, back to the the board. So the current standing is uh Traveler, you won, so you get to stay here. Um Mermaid, you get to roll. I uh, you lost one turn, right? Okay, so you lo you're losing another turn, I think. Unfortunately, since you got us. So I think only Cyber and um, Trevor get to roll, I believe. I'm hoping somebody gets the Switch Spot RNG one. So, yeah. But Cyber and Trevor, I guess you guys can roll. Okay, Trevor, you got six. Is that it? Cyber, three. Trevor was over here. Roll six, basically. So they got to the finish line. Cyber made roll three. Kill 10 times, but it doesn't really matter anymore. But yeah, I hope everyone had fun. I know it's a little bit like confusing at first and since this is the first iteration of the game hope you guys still have fun with him and um yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to go check out this video where Yalan decides what I do in co-op by clicking on the video here